Hi, hello there. Welcome back home. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, Rebecca's here once again. I'm so happy. It's always an excitement to come and film with you guys. Um, I am here with a palette for you guys. As you guys could see, I already did get this eye started. I was just testing and mangling with the palette. And um, so I'm here to go and get this, you know, other eye done with you guys. I didn't do the full base because I wasn't sure on how the fallout would be with this palette. It's fairly new. It's brand new palette. Maybe brand new to you guys. I am... Um, I came across, uh, I was introduced to this young lady. She, she has her own makeup line going by the name of Spiritual Touch. And she's a Haitian queen out there doing her thing. So I am showing her support to towards her product line by introducing it to you guys and if you are interested in purchasing this palette you guys through me get a 10 percent discount um the code would be bell sherry 10 b-e-l-c-e-c-h-e-r-y number 10 i will put that on somewhere on the screen for you guys and um so we're here i'm here to share this palette with you guys i was able to purchase this palette um through her and through me you are now able to purchase it as well to support her and get her going um so spiritual touch makeup is the name of the brand this is her neutral palette these are the colors and it also has a mirror a nice big size mirror but the colors are more neutral everyday type of tone colors um she does also have a rainbow uh, palette, same size, um, on her website, which is spiritualtouch.com, if I'm not mistaken. I will also put that on the, put her link on the description box below. So you guys get to enjoy this palette as well. Um, with this eye, I went in, you guys. I went in with a very light hand and an expectancy of some light color, you know, because I wanted to do some light, light transition color on the lid first. However, that transition color was so pigmented, was so rich. I just, it just ends up looking like this. Like, it is this color right here as you guys could see i went in I, I had the intention to use this color which is much lighter than that deep orangey type of color here so i went in with this color to go in on the crease with that color but this would be the transition of this color i didn't even have to do that because y'all will see how pigmented this light peachy color is so to start, I'm going to go ahead and use this shadow and liner primer with, by NYX. This one is the ultimate primer. First time using it, I put it on the lid. It's a little watery. I thought it would be more like a paste, like I said. And, um, and then blend it out. Like it's really sheer it's not to me the color does not matter because I did see they have different color like some light this this would be the lightest one and they have some darker brown one like skin color type but it looks like this there's no need for it to have different type I don't feel like there's no need to it for it to have different type of um, color range you, you know what i mean like this one would, would be the white one i thought this would be like a white paste and then this one more like my skin tone but it's it's like more of a clear sticky primer 
so i did that on the lid and as it's drying up it does have a sticky um um feel to it on the lid so to start i went in with a nice blended brush y'all see how it le left this stain on the brush and as i went in to dig into the pen it, there's not much kickback from it it's nicely pressed in there so i'm using this peachy light peachy shade right here y'all ready let me pull you guys closer like <laughs> i'm really hoping her brown skin tone shades or just like this so we have that with the same brush i went in trying to soften up the um that shade i went in with that purplish pinkish color right here y'all see not much kickback it's not as you know powdery it's really pressed in there so going in to blend out that peachy shade with this color taking it into the inner part of the lid as well and it's also pigmented y'all could see here going back with the same brush to that peachy shade to place it right back in there so i did that i got the color that i'm looking for so i went in with this brown right here to put into the crease to deepen it And fill in the gap. That's it right here. All right, going back with that fluffy brush, just going in with no extra product to kind of blend that in to the two colors. And I first wanted to play with this green, that little turquoise green. I wanted to play with that. Then I saw this grayish purplish shade right here and then i saw this right here so what i did <laughs> being me i went like this and then like this and then like this I didn't like the green with the color with those colors so I just went in with this first shimmer up here over the green I'm just doing everything that I did with that one over the green this one right here it's more gray and place that on the mid part of the lid back and forth over everything i went with this brush with nothing extra 
to kind of blend, soften up the edges like so. And then voila, let's zoom out so we could get to the rest of the face. Let's prime the face. I've already moisturized. No, did I? No. Let me moisturize and then prime. So I originally have had um, this Morphe Filter Perfect, um, Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation in the color of 1024. I've used it in the channel before. I will go ahead and put the card of that video somewhere on the screen for y'all. As you guys would see, it was a bit lighter um, than my skin tone. So recently, I went back to um, Morphe store. Was it Morphe? No, to Ulta. And got another color that's much deeper. And this one would be Filter Rich 32. Like from 1024 to Rich 32. Big difference. So, um... And I bought that one at the time of, you know, around the pandemic. I wasn't able to try anything. So I was just, you know, I went with, I eyeballed it, but it didn't really match. So I went back, then was able now, and I'm now able to try things. And um, I went and got this color. I believe number 30 is my... Um, perfect match not perfect but the closest to me but since i have this one i know i'm gonna mix it with that one it would most likely give me somewhere around the 30 range so we're gonna go ahead and mix the two this is 1024 with rich 32 i'm gonna mix that and hopefully it works I remember liking this foundation last time I tried it because it was very light on the face. It's It feels like I have nothing on. I'm going to go in with my sponge. All right, there. We're gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Mil Milani Natural Sand Concealer along with Cool Toffee. Cool Toffee is more to my skin tone and Natural Sand is more like a neutral, um, lighter tone. With the two, it'll work. So as you guys recall from my last makeup review, um, I did use this palette by Cara Beauty, um, which is the Perfectly Defined Face Palette. That's their latest palette. And um, throughout one of my latest haul from TJ Maxx and Marshall, I was able to find their Divine Complexion, um, press finish powder which they both are like their newest face palette comes like this beautiful big pen palette like what I love so with these two I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the base with you know contouring bronzing and also setting the face with the powders that's from the divine complexion like this is face heaven Okay, let's do this. Using the Divine Complexion Palette, I'm going to go in to Golden Beige and Warm Sand. 
golden beige and warm let's go to golden beige under the eye so going in with a my puffy brush my face powder brush i'm gonna go to caramel caramel which is this one I'm gonna go with the contour palette this time to toffee and toffee first Toffee and Sculpt. I should have used my contour stick. I forgot. But it's it's fine. We'll get it. We'll make the best of it. All right, so I mean, not sure how the powder is gonna hold out throughout, you know, like a whole day. The setting powder from Cara Beauty, but so far everything is nicely smooth. Um, it's not doing any cracking or any, you know, default. So. I'm, I'm loving it so far going in next we're going to the blush which I've used this one before um, I'll put that link above or the card above and the blush is by is from Jouer um, I love this blush. I'm also going to let me touch my um, the same spot that I used on the, the contour with this powder because it's just so pretty. It has like a reddish undertone to it. And it kind of complement that little grayish undertone. The contour palette has so it just adds more color that's all y'all see so pretty yeah it is pretty you see it's just All right, going next, I'm going with the this Charm Me blush this time because the eye is a bit, you know, towards that shade, that peachy tone. Um, blushing it up. I will go into highlight and afterwards, but let's go back finishing off the eye with the spiritual touch makeup. Okay, so as I was doing my face, I'm eyeing that little U of blue underneath that goldy or this color. I do want a little touch of that blue like that green it's just like when i first saw the palette that was the color that stood out most to me um let's just do something let's just 
let's just zigzag it zigzag it up in there not pronouncing it or not um placing it anywhere in particular we're just zigzagging it you know yeah just a little zigzag of that turquoise green i just want to use it it may not be the best color with this eye but i'm feeling it right now we're gonna go back to the gray not to leave that out where is the gray also zigzagging that in there we already have it underneath i just don't want it to get lost under that green zigzagging it up in there because why not what am i gonna do with all these colors if i don't use all of them okay um underneath the eye i'm gonna do brown um not the same brown though i'm gonna try to test out these other browns i'm gonna go in with this one up here more like a chocolatey brown wow pigmentation i mean this palette A little touch of that brown y'all it's even like <laughs> what let's go in with this color right here this brown y'all see like it's a whole other world these colors like my dip avec palette la if y'all don't understand i'm just so happy with this palette okay we have the under eye let's kind of clean up this side because i don't want it to be out that much no i don't let's clean it up erasing it with the let's go into this one right here or i could also go back to the um cara palette and use the same transition color the same um golden beige underneath to kind of erase that here clean that off i'm gonna go in with now i need a pop on the inner part of the eye this one or that one yeah let's go with this one still has kind of like a pinkish there we go back to jouer let me um set my face with my um setting spray and then we're going to highlight i'm gonna use the skinny dip highlight on here loved it last time i used it so let's love it again yep let me go back again with the blush because it's kind of a lot 
like what I see. I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes, my lips, and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on. Um, I want Let me just do the lips with you guys. I did purchase two of um, Juvia's Place, the new chocolates from Ulta, the lady, and muted. I want to use the lady. And on the lips, I have the lip liners from Morphe, uh, Trendsetter, and also the Date Night. I just lined them up on top of each other. So this is the packaging, really nice. Ooh. So let's go ahead and apply that on the lips. Ooh, the lipstick looks kind of like velvety. It is a velvety matte lipstick. Beautiful. So she also um, sent me a lip gloss along with the palette. What did I have that lip gloss? Ooh, comes looking like this with a little with her logo on it. Nice and simple packaging. This one I believe was a clear, yeah. It's a clear lip gloss. And the top is kind of like, feels kind of velvety as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put top that on the lips. super light it's not heavy I would prefer it to be a lot thicker but it's not but it's popping though it is definitely popping all right guys that's the end result for the face highlights on point blushing lips on point and most importantly importantly the spiritual beauty makeup palette i was not expecting what i got today from the brown the skin tone brown to the shimmers like we have pigmentation on top of pigmentation like to the t so I hope you guys enjoy watching me creating this um, this look and also watching me using the Spiritual Touch Makeup Palette. I will also have her Instagram account on the description box and also the website to purchase this. And don't forget, if you do purchase this, you guys could go ahead and use the discount code BELLSHIGGY10 so y'all could get yours i have the neutral palette i could only imagine what the colorful the rainbow palette she has has to offer i'm definitely gonna want to try to take uh, most likely gonna want to try to dig in there as well and see what she got going on with these rainbow palettes so far i'm so happy with this look so happy with the color payout and the whole face all together I just, I'm feeling myself. Y'all can't, y'all can't stop me from feeling myself. All right? Go get your palette. Enjoy this palette. Support your girl. She's a Haitian queen doing her thing out here. Um, so we're supporting each other and that's all we're going to need to do. And that's all, that's the only way to grow and i wish y'all would support me by subscribing liking and commenting and sharing this video and support your girl out here i mean 
all right my love so i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching bye